Doctor Siddharth SP <laughs> Lessons from a Big Man Lessons from a Big Man Siddharth SP that I hated hearing as I was growing up. It was the name Pranu. All that I used to hear at home was this. Pranu, what do you want to eat? Pranu, what do you want for your birthday? Oh, Pranu, you're <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> it was all Siddhu earlier. But the only time I heard my name now was Siddhu, stop fighting with your brother. Siddhu, share with your brother. Hey Siddhu! You're a big Buddha. <laughs> Pranu even stole those pretty girls away from me. All the girls used to pinch my cheeks. Now, went for Pranu. He even got a bonus kiss on his cheeks. <laughs> Good evening, Master Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Who is Pranu? And why did he get all the attention? Well, Pranu is my brother. More so, my younger brother. Although I hate him for the attention that he gets every now and then, little did I know that he would teach me the two most valuable lessons in my life. The first lesson that I still vividly remember is the power of giving. My parents had bought Prana a brand new Hercules cycle for his birthday. As Prana took his cycle for a spin, I watched with irritation and anger. I wanted to break that cycle. I even thought of stealing it. Why did I have to put up with the Noel BSA champ? As Prana excitedly rode past me, I turned my face away. But he stopped by my side and he said, Anna, can we go on a ride? What? Who did this guy think he was? Offering me a ride? <laughs> Angry, I told him. Prano, what you have is a cycle, not a BMW. Stop showing off, man. Besides, your cycle doesn't even look good. <laughs> a sudden feeling of sadness filled his face as he mumbled. Anna, I always wanted you to take me on a ride, but you never let me to even sit on a cycle. I asked you if we could go now because at least now I can sit behind you, Anna. You can go alone if you wish to. My cycle is your cycle. <laughs> that to me, ladies and gentlemen, was an eye opener. This last week, when my friend had asked me for my bike, I flatly refused because it was my bike. But here was a man who was ready to share his cycle at an age when kids don't bother to share even a bar of chocolate. If the first lesson <laughs> that my brother taught me was on the power of giving, the second lesson that he taught me was on the power of forgiving. I was walking down the street that one day when Prana followed me quietly as usual. I looked at him with a cold stare. Why do you keep following me everywhere? You're not my shadow. Get lost. Prano did not listen to my words. He smiled and he followed. In a fit of rage, I turned behind and pushed him down to the ground. The push was a bit hard and he ended up with a bruised leg. Scared, the first thing that I told him was, Pranu, I, I, I really know that you're bleeding, but please don't complain to Amma. <laughs> Crying profusely, Pranu limped back home. I loitered around the streets for a few hours, scared to face the music, but I eventually went home. My mother was rubbing my brother's hair 
as my brother sat next to her with a bandaged leg. Guilty, I stared at my mother and she said, Sidhu, your brother has hurt himself against the thorny bush yet again. What? Thorny bush? As I glanced over Pranav, he looked into my eyes with a smile and he winked. That day, Toastmasters, I was left speech. He showed me that forgiveness is the best form of love. It takes a strong person to say that they're sorry, but it takes a stronger person to say that I forgive you. And since then, I have learned to forget people, forgive people for their mistakes. To the surprise, of men. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have been taught by some of the best teachers, been mentored by the best people, and I've learned so much from you all. But little did I know that life's biggest lessons would come to me in the name of Pranav. When asked about our role models, we all say Nara and Murthy, Steve Jobs, Sachin Tendulkar. But how many of us really say, my mother, my father, my younger brother? We always tend to look at the outside world to teach us lessons, but life's most important lessons are taught inside. Inside your family. Your education may be at school, but your learning certainly happens at home. Some of life's biggest lessons are not taught. They happen through realization. They happen through experience. When you give with an open heart and when you forgive with an open mind, that is when the small kid in you becomes the big man. Over to you, Mark.